Hi there. Are you baffled about how to cut certain fruits or simply want to impress your dinner guests? Don't worry, with a few simple techniques, you'll be a fruit cutting ninja in no time. Let's get started with some basic tips. Always use a sharp knife. A dull knife is more dangerous than a sharp one. It can slip and cause injury. Wash your fruit thoroughly before cutting. You don't want any dirt or bacteria in your delicious fruits. Now, let's move on to the exciting part, cutting the fruit. Watermelon. First up, watermelon is a summer favorite. Start by cutting the watermelon in half crosswise. Then, lay the half flat side down and slice it into wedges. If you want bite-sized pieces, cut the wedges into cubes. You can also use a melon baller to create perfect watermelon spheres for a fancy presentation. For a fun twist, try cutting the watermelon in half. Cut a thin slice off the bottom of the watermelon to create a stable base. Scoop out some of the flesh from the inside of the watermelon half. Finally, fill the watermelon shell with your favorite fruit salad for a show-stopping centerpiece. Papaya. Cut the papaya in half lengthwise. Scoop out the seeds with a spoon. Slice the papaya into wedges or cubes depending on your preference. Passion fruit. This is a passion fruit. It's deliciously sour, but not hard to process. To open it, simply take a chef's knife, cut it around the equator, and then open it up. Once opened, you'll see a nice juicy passion fruit. It's super sour, but really delicious. Pear. To cut the pear, start by slicing it in half lengthwise from the stem to the bottom. Next, remove the core using a melon baller or a small spoon to scoop out the core and seeds from each half. If you prefer pear slices, cut off the top and the bottom. Place each half cut side down on the cutting board and slice them to your desired thickness for salads or snacks. Persimmon. I cut a persimmon in half, remove the stem, and then make a V-shaped cut in the top to remove the core. After that, I slice it and can choose to peel it or eat it with the peel. Alternatively, you can peel the skin using the edge of a paring knife by gently rotating the fruit and pushing the knife in a synchronized motion. This technique requires a bit more precision, but it works much better than using a scraper peeler once you have mastered it. Pumpkin. Let's move on to the pumpkin. This is classically what people use for jack-o'-lanterns. Make sure you have a large, sharp knife. A dull knife can be dangerous and make cutting difficult. Start by cutting off the top of the pumpkin to create a flat surface. Next, cut the pumpkin in half from top to bottom. Use a spoon or hands to scoop out the seeds and the stringy pulp. You can save the seeds for roasting later. Cut the pumpkin halves into smaller pieces. This will make it easier to cook. Peel the skin off the pumpkin pieces using a vegetable peeler. Now your pumpkin is ready to be cooked. Peach and plum. Hold the peach steady on a cutting board. Slice it all the way around following the natural seam. Twist the two halves in opposite directions to separate. Use your knife to remove the pit. Now you can slice, dice, or cube your peach. Apple. This is an apple. First, I peel the apple by rotating it and using a paring knife to remove the skin. Then I cut the apple into quarters and remove the core. If you want to keep the skin on, simply cut the apple into four pieces and remove the core. You can also slice or chop the apple according to your preference for your dish. Avocado. This is an avocado. I use a knife to make a cut, but instead of moving the knife, I move the avocado. I roll the avocado and leave the knife in place. Then I twist it to separate it. There you go, a perfectly ripe avocado. Cutting avocados can be a little tricky. There are specialty knives for this, but I just lightly tap the seed with the knife until it goes in, then twist it out. You can also cut the avocado in half, peel it, and slice it. Alternatively, you can use a paring knife to do the crosshatch method and then squeeze the flesh for your avocado toast. Coconut. Coconuts require a bit more muscle. Find the three eyes at one end of the coconut. Pierce one of the eyes with a sharp object. Drain the coconut water into a bowl. Crack open the coconut by hitting it firmly with a hammer 
or the back of a heavy knife. Once open, use a knife to pry the flesh away from the shell. You can then cut the coconut flesh into chunks or use a peeler to make coconut flakes. Another method is to simply twist it open and drink the delicious coconut water. Just kidding. Asian pear. Similar to peeling an apple, I start by rotating the Asian pear while using a paring knife in a synchronized motion to peel it. Then, I cut the pear into quarters and remove the core. You can then slice or chop the quarters, depending on your preference for your dish. Pineapple. Pineapples look intimidating, but they're not so tough. Cut off the top and bottom of the pineapple. Stand it upright and slice off the skin in strips, following the curve of the fruit. Remove any remaining eyes with a paring knife. Slice the pineapple into rounds or cut it into chunks for kebabs. Alternatively, you can slice it first, peel the skin, and then remove the core, whichever method you prefer. Fig. Often you'll find fresh dried figs served as a treat. Simply remove the stem and cut the fig in half to reveal its beautiful flesh. Everything on the fig is edible, but be gentle as they can easily break apart. If you're adding figs to a salad or dish, it's best to cut them and place them in later. Roasting figs is also a great option. Just handle them carefully as they are delicate. Cherry. You don't necessarily need to cut them, but you have to remove the pits. I use a thick boba straw to push the pits out, or you can use a core remover if you don't mind adding another kitchen gadget. Strawberry. To prepare a strawberry, start by removing the hull. Simply twist the stem, and if there's still a hard piece, use a sharp paring knife to remove it. Then you can cut the strawberry in half into quarters or slice it for a tart or salad. Be sure to remove the stem completely to ensure no hard pieces are left behind. For decorative purposes, you can leave the stems on and cut whole strawberries in half. Star fruit. This is a star fruit. There isn't much preparation needed since its edible skin acts as its own wrapper. To prepare, simply slice the star fruit and remove the ends. Every part of the star fruit, including the skin, is edible. You can cut it into slices and enjoy it without worrying about the seeds. Pomegranate. To process a pomegranate, there are two methods I'd like to share with you. First, open up a pomegranate by scoring the skin. Use a sharp knife to make a shallow cut around the middle of the pomegranate. Twist the pomegranate to open it into two halves. Get a bowl, a rack, and a wooden mallet. Gently tap the seeds onto the rack and let them fall into the bowl. The opening method remains the same as the first one. However, you can use your fingers to gently push the seeds out without applying too much pressure. The seeds should come off quite easily. Remove any leftover white pith. Cantaloupe and melon. First, have the cantaloupe, remove the seeds and slice. Then peel the slices and cut them into cubes. Next, if it's a melon with soft seeds, you can simply slice it and eat it like a watermelon. Tangerine and grapefruit. Start by getting your thumb in at the stem and peel it by hand. Then pull the sections apart and eat the sections. Kiwi. To cut a kiwi, you can use one of two methods. The first method involves chopping off both ends of the kiwi with a sharp knife to create flat surfaces. Then, stand the kiwi upright on one of the flat ends and carefully slide the knife down the sides to peel off the skin, following the curve. Once the kiwi is fully peeled, lay it on its side and slice it into rounds as thin or thick as you like. You can also cut the rounds into halves or quarters if you prefer. The second method is to cut the kiwi in half lengthwise to create two oval-shaped halves. Grab a spoon and slide it between the kiwi flesh and the skin. Move the spoon around the edge to separate the skin from the flesh. Once you've gone all the way around, you can scoop out the whole piece in one go. Banana and plantain. Now let's tackle the banana. Bananas are the easiest. Simply peel the banana and slice it into rounds or cut it lengthwise for a fancy touch. Cherry tomato. To slice cherry tomato, same as grape cutting, 
Use a small paring knife. You have two options. Cut along the stem or slice it into fine pieces. You can also place whole cherry tomatoes on the bottom of a plate and then, with another plate on top of them to secure the tomatoes, slice them all together. This will give you perfectly halved cherry tomatoes for your fresh salad. Dragon fruit. It's really easy to take care of and cut open. First, cut off both ends. Look at that beautiful inside and vibrant skin. After removing the ends, simply score the dragon fruit. The skin should peel right off. Just get your finger underneath it and peel it away. I'm going to slice them for dessert. Mango. Here are two methods for cutting a mango. The first method involves peeling the skin first and then cutting the mango. Begin by standing the mango upright and slicing it downwards, about half an inch from the center seam to avoid the pit. Repeat the same process on the other side to obtain two large mango cheeks. Once you have the cheeks, you can then slice or cut them as you prefer. The second method involves cutting the mango first without peeling the skin. Score the flesh of each cheek in a crisscross pattern and then push the cheek from underneath to fan out the mango. Lime and lemon. Cut the lime or lemon in half, then place it on the flat side and cut it in half again. After that, you can further cut it into smaller pieces if you plan to serve it on a plate or use it as a garnish for drinks. You can also slice them for use as garnish on fish or as decorations in cocktails. Orange. Oranges are a popular choice for breakfast. Many people simply peel them and eat them as they are. An alternative way is to cut off the top and bottom of the orange, then stand it upright and slice off the peel and pith in strips. Finally, cut the orange into wedges or segments. For a fun twist, try making orange supremes. Cut off the top and bottom of the orange. Following the curve of the fruit, remove the peel and pith. Working over a bowl, carefully cut between each segment to release the supremes. Things to remember. Remember, safety first. When handling sharp knives, always cut away from your body. Keep your fingers clear of the blade. If you're not comfortable using a sharp knife, you can use a fruit slicer or a crinkle cutter for softer fruits. When cutting hard fruits like coconuts and pineapples, be extra careful. Use a sturdy cutting board and make sure you have a good grip on the fruit. We might not have cut every type of fruit today, but by looking at its shape, you can generally figure out how to cut it each time. Some fruits were easier to cut today, while others were a bit more challenging. But don't be afraid. What's the worst that can happen? You're now a Fruit Ninja Master. Congratulations, you've mastered the art of cutting fruit. Now you can impress your friends and family with your knife skills and create beautiful fruit platters for any occasion. Remember, practice makes perfect. The more you cut, the more confident you'll become. So go ahead, grab some fruit and start slicing and dicing. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to hit the subscribe and like buttons and hit the notification bell.